okay. or open, you know? So Stephen Kotler and Jamie Wheel from the Flow Genome Project in their new book, Stealing Fire, talk precisely about this concept, okay? That flow states, whether you're a Navy SEAL in sync with your unit, or a jazz musician with his band improvising seemingly synchronized in a telepathic way, that something happens in the brain, that there's neuroscience to explain why we feel such a sense of liberation. Because we're literally, we're literally being liberated from ourselves. And that's the nagging, neurotic hmm. monkey mind. The lateral prefrontal cortex and the neocortex, right? We're worried about the future. The human capacity to worry about the future gives us a competitive advantage in the world because it allows us to protect against and plan for. Hmm. But that same capacity to protect against and plan for also makes a terrible imprisonment for us because we're never allowed to be in the present. So we're really good at protecting ourselves and planning for the future, but we're terrible at being in the now. Like a kid is born in the now, defenseless and blissed out. And as he grows up, that Buddhist capacity to be in the moment that children have is strangle-held until it's gone. And as adults, we're living in our misery of neurosis, right? Choking on our introversions. Sometimes, it is said that yeah. depression and anxiety stem from having an overactive default mode network, which is the neuroscience term for the autobiographical mind. Repeating thought patterns of worry get carved in the grooves of our mind. Depression and anxiety are both are from overactive and over, over, overactive self-consciousness. Wow. Excessive self-consciousness and rumination. Wow. Which is the worrying about the future. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. And when you're in the flow, whether mountain biking down a, a ravine or skydiving, you're lunged into the deep now, silencing the worrying mind. So it's right. actually less brain function that we're after. Flow states, it's like an aperture that focus. It's less about the doors of perception being cleansed and more about an aperture focusing and the nagging voice quieting. And then you are free. Now I'm exhausted just from explaining <laughs> that, but how do you feel? Does it make sense? That was so well said, man.